Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to take a black and white photo like this and turn it into a color photo. Now there's no real magic in this tutorial. It's basically going to be coloring. Picture it like coloring for adults, like a coloring book. And so uh, what you're going to do is take a black and white photo and you're going to create a, a bunch of layers and just paint over the skin, the hair, the lips, all that stuff and give it color but make it blend in very well now going into this it's not going to look like a picture perfect uh, color accurate photo uh, it's going to look more like a vintage photo which actually suits the black and white tone and the pose and the hairstyle and and all that stuff so let's go and get started and I'll show you how to get this going okay so the first thing we need to do is make a blank layer and what I'm going to start doing is I'm just going to color in parts of this person right here I'm going to color in uh, different different sections at a time so first I'm going to color in the skin and then I'm going to go for the hair and then we'll touch the lips and, and maybe even the background so uh, the first thing we need to do is make a blank layer and we're gonna find a skin tone color that, that is good now for a, a, a Caucasian skin tone color uh, this color code right here for CMYK or RGB but CMYK you can just type in 0 10 15 0 that's a fairly good skin tone as you can see here but to, to blend it in there, we're actually going to color. So I'm going to go ahead and color over this, and you can see it's not blending in whatsoever. It actually looks pretty bad. So I'm just going to keep coloring just a little bit, and then I'll, uh, I'll blend it in a little bit. So right here, let's just stop right there. And so the, the, the way to blend this in, it's as easy as just clicking a blending mode. You go up here to your blending mode section, and you click Color. And as you can see, uh, you can still see the details. You can still see a little bit of the shadows come through, the harsh edges. You can still see that. Uh, but it actually blends in that color very well to the skin. So all I'm going to do is just color over all the skin. I have a regular brush, and my hardness is set to zero. And uh, I'm just going to size it periodically to, to get in little tight corners like this. Uh, but that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to color in the face. So I'll come back in just a second. Okay, there we go. I have a uh, fairly good skin tone here. We can actually change a little bit in just a second. But I'm going to go ahead and paint the hair while I'm here. So I'm going to choose a hair color. I'm going to make it blonde. Uh, but I'm going to, I don't care exactly if it matches perfectly or anything like that. I'm just going to choose kind of like a blonde hair color here. And now I'm going to make a new layer, do the same thing, change the blending mode to color, and just start painting over the hair. And as you can see, it's kind of rich. It's a little too saturated, but that's what we're going to change in just a second. So let me go and paint the hair in here, and then I'll come back and show you how to change the, the colors here to kind of blend in a little bit more. Okay, so there we go. I got the hair done. And now to kind of blend it a little bit more and allow me to actually change the color going forward if I wanted to, is to create a, uh, a new adjustment layer, and it's going to be the hue saturation adjustment layer. So I'm actually just going to put that one on there, let that, uh, and clip it right here between holding alt or option. I'm going to clip it between the hair layer and the adjustment layer that I just made. So now all the changes that I make are going to only affect the hair. So as you can see, I can take the, the lightness down for the hair a little bit. You can see it desaturates a little bit here as well. And just kind of blend, I can even change the hair color. I can kind of blend it in. I can give it like a uh, kind of a reddish tone, purple tone if I wanted to, but I want it to kind of be sort of, sort of blonde. Um, so probably roughly there. So uh, I'm going to keep it right there. And now to, to kind of keep it organized a little bit, I'm going to select these two layers and hit Command or Control G, and that's going to put it into a group for me. So I'm going to label that hair. So this was the hair before, this was the hair after. Uh, same thing I can do with the skin tone. I'm actually going to leave the skin tone just the way it is. Um, but, uh, but now let's go to the lips. I want to make these really bright red lips. So I'm going to create another layer. And I'm going to choose a red color here. I'm going to go down, choose a bright red color. It can be any color that you want it to. I'm just choosing these. So you can find the value that works for you. And I'm going to change the blending mode to color. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to paint it in make my brush a little smaller, paint it in, and it will be a little too vibrant, a little bit too saturated, but that's what the hue saturation adjustment layer is for. We can change it uh, after we paint everything in. So I'm just going to roughly paint in this. Okay, so there we go. I have my bright red lips here, and now I can get my hue saturation adjustment layer again. Right there, clip it. And now I can take the lightness down a little bit as well, just to make it kind of blend in a little bit more, make it desaturation a little bit. Can even change the color if I wanted to. Same thing with the uh, hair. 
So it's actually coming along fairly well. So now we need to go ahead and try to try to fix a little bit of the eyes. The eyes are sort of dark in this photo. So if you you can actually see uh, the the pupils in your eyes and, and the photo that you're doing it with, it'll be a little bit better. So I'm just going to roughly do this real quick. Uh, I'm going to collect some blue eyes here uh, and just paint around. All right, so we got the blue eyes. We're going to do the adjustment layer once again. So hue saturation adjustment layer, clip it. And now we're going to take down the brightness again, just a little bit. Take down the saturation again to roughly there. There's still a little bit of color there, but it's not popping out as much. All right, so now uh, the only thing I'm going to do next is I'm not going to touch the teeth or anything because it's still fairly white there. The only thing I'm going to do next is paint the background. And uh, this is not a necessary thing, but it's something that I like to do just to uh, just to have something that stands out a little bit more. So I'm going to do a blue color here. I'm going to take my brush up a little bit, and I'm going to quickly paint over the background. I'm not going to be exact with it, but I'm just going to quickly paint over the background to give it a little more color. All right, so there we go. It's quickly painted in there. I'm going to get my hue saturation adjustment layer again to clip that. And you can still play with the colors again. You can tone it down just a little bit. I can even brighten it up if I wanted to, but I just want to give it a little bit of color. So let's choose right there. All right. So now let's go ahead and organize this up. We have our background here. So I'm going to highlight both of those command G or control G and say background. Here is where we paint it over the eyes. So I'm going to have those command G or control G and do eyes. Here were the lips. Commander Control G with both of those selected. And lips. All right, so now all of our adjustments are right here. All of, these are all the adjustments. So let's look at the before. That was the before. That's what we started out with. And then here's the after. It looks pretty well. It looks looks like a vintage old photo that you would see in the like 1940s, 50s. Um, it looks like a really fun photo. So basically, it's coloring for adults in Photoshop, and that's how fun it is to convert a black and white photo to a color photo. All right, guys, thanks for joining me in this video. This is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and I will see you in the next video.